Hello there, I wanted to make this quick video about how to tune your guitar. Now, there's a couple of little tips that make this really good uh, and helpful and hopefully it means that you stay in tune better for longer so you can continue uh, making music without being distracted by a badly or poorly tuned guitar. Uh, so first of all, uh, we're going to be looking at standard tuning on an acoustic guitar or on any guitar. Uh, so we've got an E at the bottom, we've got an A, a D, a to G, to a B, to an E. So a bit of an odd sound when you strum it all together like that. Uh, but that is what is called standard tuning. So E, A, D, G, B, E. Now, when you're tuning a guitar, it's really important to tune up to a note. Uh, so you don't want to uh, tune down to a note. So if you're, if, you're, if you're tuning your guitar and the note is sharp, as in it's too high and it needs to come down, you need to detune the string, but obviously you need to tune it to go under pitch and then back up to true pitch. Now, the reason for this is that when a string moves around, it can get stuck uh, in the nut here um, just very slightly. And if you only tune down to a note, it doesn't necessarily unstick the string from the nut. And it can cause stability tuning issues and when you're playing, it can slip through the nut after you've tuned down to the note and you're out of tune again. So it's best to tune, uh, even if you're sharp, tune down so that you're under the note and tune back up to it. And that ensures that you've got a more, um, it's, it's a more stable way of staying in tune. Uh, so that'll be my advice. Uh, now, if you're changing strings, I'll do another video on changing strings because there's a bit more involved. Uh, but part of that process is stretching the strings. Uh, so as you can imagine, when strings come out of the packet and you put them on your guitar, they haven't had any real stress put on them yet. Uh, so when you put them on a guitar and you tune them and you get them up to a pitch, that's the first time they've really been uh, at a working pitch where you need them to be. And there's going to still be some flex in that string. And we want to get rid of that. So again, when you're performing, you're not playing a guitar that's going out of tune constantly or going flat. And you, um, especially with an electric guitar, uh, when you're bending strings, that can really send your guitar uh, out of tune. So. It's a, it's a good thing to check up on uh, and to actually stretch your strings. Uh, so I'll, I'll uh, explain what that means in a video, but it's, it's basically you, you put a string on and then from the 12th fret, the uh, middle of the guitar, that's what the 12th fret is here, you just pull up and down on a string like that. Uh, so you're literally pulling up and down and that will also uh, get it seated more thoroughly in the bridge of the guitar with the saddles there and then as you tune up it makes sure that the string is pre-stretched so that it doesn't uh, stretch or detune on you when you're playing in a live environment and uh, that should give you some ideas of how to tune and stay in tune for your guitar uh, another quick thing is when you are playing with a capo, like so, uh, it's worth noting that your guitar, if it's in tune just naturally, and it's in tune when you play there, if you're adding a capo, it doesn't mean your guitar is still going to be in tune. So you have to retune after you put the capo on. And for this reason, it's really important to have a good chromatic tuner that can pick up what note is supposed to be played even when you put a capo on. Uh, so if you're putting a capo on the third fret, you need to be tuning your guitar to G, C, 
F, B flat, D, G. That's your new tuning standard when you've got a capo on at the third fret. And again, all of those same things apply. With a capo, you've got to tune up to the note, don't tune down because the same thing, but you've got an extra place for the string to get stuck. So under a capo and over the nut here. Uh, so that's another really good thing to remember. Don't tune, then put a capo on. Put the capo on, then tune. And they are really um, some pretty foundational tuning techniques uh, and tips that should help you out. Um, actually, I know they'll help you out. So let me know if, uh, if they worked for you and uh, if there's anything you're sort of stuck with, um, keep me posted and I'll answer any questions that you have to the best of my ability. And uh, thanks for watching. See you soon.